tell me where, uh, how did you get uh, and where, where the interest for the particular electronic party scene come from? Why, why, why you have such an interest for that? Uh, be because it, it was a big part of my life for a very long time. I think the first party I attended uh, was 1995. I still lived in Splits and it was really contagious. Uh, uh, after that I was attending parties for I think next uh, 20 years. Uh, and later I studied sociology and uh, as I was a part of uh, this electronic music culture in Zagreb, I, uh, uh, as a sociologist, decided to uh, write a PhD about it because it was a big and important part of my my life, and I I, I had a really big uh, scientific interest uh, in that topic also. So, what was your personal interest? What is so contagious about the parties itself? Uh, for me, I fell in love with music, with that kind of uh, beat. Uh, it's really hard to explain. It's uh, like it was the same uh, uh, like I first uh, started to to listen to jazz music. It was just something that I felt uh, that was my own. That that was something uh, through which I can reach something that for me uh, wasn't just uh, having fun, but it, it, there was something spiritual in it. Yes, this is exactly what, what happens to me as well. And uh, since I have a talk uh, uh, on the subject of uh, shamanism and uh, modern uh, interpretation of shamanism mm -hmm. in modern society, I found many similarities in a ceremony, in a shamanic ceremonial and the modern electronic music, so-called rave, rave party. So I see a DJ as a shaman, I see people coming to change the consciousness, to, to connect better and to uh, learn something to transform. So what is your opinion about that? Is there any scientific uh, basis on that uh, thesis? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the assumption that uh, rave culture is a vain, shallow escapism, as suggested by some theoreticians uh, which are heavily relying on postmodern nihilism uh, led to a need for better understanding uh, of meanings behind certain practices that constitute experience of electronic music party. Uh, it turned out that for some people uh, this experience uh, involves uh, mental and emotional states uh, that go beyond a commonplace notion of reality and that it has a spiritual and transcendental dimension. Uh, to describe these experiences, uh, ver ver various terms and concepts uh, had been used. One of them is techno-shamanism, uh, which, uh, which suggests uh, a culture in which DJ takes over the role of a spiritual leader who leads dancers to a spiritual journey mediated by music, dance, and sometimes different kind of drugs. Um, the DJ sense when it's time to lift mood, to take it down and so on, just like the shaman do. He takes the dancers on the overnight journey, physical and spiritual one, uh, and it is in a way his obligation to give them a safe passage back to reality. Uh, the role of techno shaman uh, is a very similar to anthropological definition of a shaman. The shaman as a keeper of uh, ecstatic techniques uh, helps his followers uh, embark on a mental and emotional adventure that transcends their ordinary definition of reality. And uh, the same or similar sometimes happens on electronic music parties. Uh, <clears throat> so it's interesting how actually this scene in this particular manner appeared late 80s, beginning of the 90s. Is there any reason why that didn't happen in the 60s, during the hippie era? Because there was technology for this kind of music. There was some similarities in rhythm and in the harmonics and in uh, uh, ideas behind the music. But electronic music happened eight, uh, late 80s, beginning of the 90s. Why? Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, 
Although this initial phase of electronic music culture uh, is, is usually related to Britain, uh, in terms of music, everything actually began uh, in the United States. Uh, the original house music uh, was created in early 80s uh, in New York and especially Chicago as a fusion of African-American musical tradition like soul, jazz, R&B and gospel and European electronic pop music. Uh, till the late 80s, uh, America has created two distinctive basic directions of electronic music. Uh, it was Chicago House and Detroit Techno and a bit later also uh, a so-called acid house as a combination of these pure styles. Uh, during 1988 uh, there was a big breakthrough of house music in the UK, primarily in London and Manchester clubs. Uh, the British dance scene, uh, which was then dominated by uh, different styles of disco music, met the atmosphere of nightclubs on Ibiza, where many young British people went uh, to enjoy very different rhythms than those prevailing on the London scene uh, in that time. Uh, these parties on Ibiza were different uh, because DJ, uh, DJs were mixing different types of music from hip-hop, Europop, rock, indie and also early Chicago house, which was still a completely unknown concept in the rest of the Europe. Uh, and in the mid-80s, many British DJs discovered Ibiza and decided to transfer this concept to London and after that it was spread to other European uh, capitals. Yes, there are a few elements in the, during the parties, during the ceremonies, which are actually almost the same as in uh, original shamanic rituals. One element is repetitive music with uh, trance effect. Second is the extensive dance, also with repetition, which also leads to trance. Then we have a drugs-induced trance, and then we have a using, usage of a mask. You change your character, you change your personality by using a mask. Um, all these elements are somehow they appeared from nowhere. They appeared from uh, people themselves. So can we say that this element is organic element of the evolution itself that appears from time to time for certain purpose and what would, what would be the purpose of uh, shamanic ritual and induction of trends? Okay, I, I think that uh the search for spirituality uh, in this context uh, is a search for a sense of ecstasy through avoiding regulative discourse and normative symbolical order. Uh, by reaching a static state on the dance floor, uh, a person temporarily escapes the burden of identity, breaking with the usual discourse and cultural codes. And that experience uh, can have exceptional therapeutic effects through the expansion of consciousness, self-knowledge, overcoming anxiety and so on. Uh, this is very similar to therapeutic experiences in shamanistic rituals. Uh, this experience uh, is collective and for a period of time uh, the differentiation between yourself and the other disappears. And that brings an experience of unity, solidarity, empathy and appreciation, which is something that doesn't always disappear uh, when the music stops and when the party is over, but sometimes becomes a part of identity uh, as a basis for socializational patterns, not just in the subcultural context, but also in the world outside of it. Okay. Uh, so let's say that this scene was born late 80s, it lasted 90s, now we also have this scene in a little bit different form. So uh, from, from your personal experience, what would you, uh, for example, if I want to go to a good party somewhere in the world, where would you send me? Which DJ? Which place? What place? Hmm. I would definitely <laughs> send you to Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, so, the, the, the Berlin party scene is definitely, I think, most heterogeneous and 
I would say the most serious one. It's really, really amazingly creative city uh, in in any kind of way, uh, art in general. But it's very, very specific regarding electronic music. There are many, many uh, DJs in the world uh, uh, who who are very serious uh, producers and DJs. They all came to uh, uh, to live to Berlin because creatively everything is happening there. So there are many different clubs uh, with many, many different styles. And when something new is happening, it's almost always happening there. So yeah, I would definitely send you to Berlin. Okay, okay. So after the after the summertime, I I think we are going to Berlin. <laughs> we can go together. <laughs> Why not? Russia, Russia, quality point.